Hi everyone, welcome back, I'm Snookus, and you are great. Um, let's just move past that and see that we are in another episode of our Karakonlu episode in our This is Persia campaign. So anyway, we just finished the war with whatever their name was, like something... Gasimuk, Gasikumuk, I mean, you gotta be honest, we, uh, we pretty much liberated the whole world by making that nation disappear. Um, so, alright, we um, have Yorcha here, still is disloyal, our other two vassals are fine, we are gonna try to annex Sherwen as soon as possible. We are moving up on their, um, their opinion of us. It's gonna take another year or so before they are up to 190, which is necessary to annex someone. And by that time, well, we already have enough Diplo points, but by that time, hopefully they will have cored all of their provinces as well. It should be done, we can't see. Okay, that's too bad. Alraka, so let's um, let's try to split up our armies here. Um, half going to Alraka, ISIS headquarters, and uh, some staying in Hafar. I'm sorry if anyone is uh, watching this and living in Alraka and... Um, and you don't want to be remembered for ISIS, um, I could understand that. Anyway, any other revolts that are critical? Doesn't seem like it. Um, we are still a great power, I don't know how. I suppose we are keeping on conquering stuff. And we have become somewhat of a powerhouse here in the Middle East. But we have no manpower. Which I suppose is um, all our own fault, but still. Um, we are losing uh, money by, by the handful here, and I, I I really want you to actually do your mission. Could you um, try? Thanks. Cool. Um, I don't really see how we could fix that other than, I mean, we could um, wait for Georgia to actually start paying us. They get 2.9, so we are going to get... 0.29 every month from them, which is, I mean, it's something, it's not a lot. Salt crisis. Okay, what's this? The rich Sophia, Safia, Safavia sect in northwestern Persia has begun a transformation from largely aesthetic sect into a military order. The ideas of the sect struck home among the Turkmen tribesmen in Persia and the leaders of the sect are more being are more and more being regarded as semi-divine beings. What effect this will have on the politics of Persia remains to be seen. Okay, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Okay, so next up on the list is Tabaristan, but we, I don't think we wa want to um, get more overextension until uh, we are done with this. We also want to get our work session down. So for now, we're gonna just chill out for a sec. What we could do, Although Knight is allied with Hormus, Hormus is... This little island here, so you know what, fuck Hormus. Let's uh, attack Knight here and um, feed them to Hassa, pretty much. I think that's, that's a good idea, giving them some... Um, uh, tax base and um, hopefully increasing their army size. I just want to check how much our force limits actually gain from our vassals. Just one from every one of them, which is better than nothing. Uh, yep, yeah, sure, let's um, attack Hassa here. Do you have any claims? You do. Cool, that's great. So let's do this. Gonna use our cab, cab to um, loot everything we can, pretty much. Also move over here to ensure that we take that province as well, in case our vassal lose. Which they didn't this time, but still. Nice.
this means some money from their coffers as well. So that's another way to keep us afloat. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nide. That's simply not going to happen. I would really like a Golden Horde or Kazan to be on our side. Um, I'm quite afraid that Kazan or the Timurids can attack the Uzbeks. And then we are in trouble. Circassia is a vassal of um, Golden Horde. Okay, so this is pretty much how much we're gonna be able to expand, I guess. Alright, I um, I forgot Golden Horde is allied with Uspec, so if Kassan attacks Golden Horde is, and, Uspec, and the Uspec is pretty much gonna fuck up Kassan, so... Not really something we have to worry about. So our conversion here is done in um, Sistra, I believe. Yep. Kurdish. It would be cool if we could form the um, Kurdistan. I suppose you can't though. So Shia is uh, slowly spreading. Cool. And we're s soon we will be done with this as well. When can we demand some more um, warriors? 65. Four years from now. If the Timurids or the Ottomans attack us, we are screwed, but um, they don't seem to be in the mood right now. Not Shirvan, fuck. I, I really wish you could, like, I really wish you could repick like that. If Like, if you give your wrong, wrong vassal um, the occupation, you could, like... Simply give it to another vassal. I get that you can't do it from from uh, sovereign nations, but Shirvan is all but it's definitely not sovereign. They are my vassal in every sense of the word. Yep, we're gonna take everything you have anyway. We can't take that one now. Helvete. Oh well. Um, suppose that's gonna be some more um, war reps instead then, and we can force the religion. So that's something. All right, let's do this instead then. I mean, the only effect that gives us is that we're gonna have have to take the rest of the night later on. It's not the end of the world, but it's not great either. Uh, Ottomans are not our rival yet, so we don't want to make them our rival either. Either, um, so we're pretty much not gonna choose a rival. We don't want Muscovy to uh, aggro on us either, and we don't want Lithuania to do so either. So let's just keep it going as it is, as as of now. Um, revolt wise, still Hafar, so let's keep this army here and still uh, Al Raqqa, I believe. Yep, so let's keep that army here. Otherwise, it should be stable for now at least. Um, we still want to lower, we, we once again want to lower our forts to save on money where we can. And now let's... There's, these will be cored soon, so let's uh, start off the annexation process. It will be done in uh, five years. Cool. It will also mean uh, two more promises of the right religion. Sure, come here. Um, so that will um, increase our religious unity somewhat, which will help us in pretty much every aspect. Respect. Um, okay, so we're gonna have some trouble with the Turkey separatists soon, but it's a while from there. We haven't even cored them yet, so um, uh, it showed uh, good down by itself a bit, uh, at least somewhat. The loan is... Oh, right, we have two loans, so let's not do anything. Our leader died. We could buy a new one. Check our leader. Our leader is actually better. But we don't want to lose our stability here, so <clears throat> let's go with the only real general we have. Uh, dry lands, mountains, and no fort. That's unfortunate. Alright, 
Let's do this. Let's waste the last mount power we have. Okay, so the family's left behind. We can... Um... Okay, let's... We can always get more loans. We can't get more manpower than we have, so... We had to do this. Crimea broke their alliance with us for some reason. Oh, there are vassal other ones. That's not good. Now we might actually be able to ally the Golden Horde. And you know what? I'm thinking that might not be the worst idea. <sighs> this is one of the worst things about um, E4. <laughs> A really minor thing, but still, that when you tell your boats to chill out in um, port during war, um, they don't resume their mission when the war is over. It's a bug, I'm sure, but I mean, it's been a few DLCs and patches since I first saw it, and it still keeps bubbling up, and um, it aggravates me somewhat. Okay, the Syrian separatists are being repressed. Um, the other separatists aren't that big of an issue. Cool. Next up, we should try and get Trebson to Georgia. You know what? We should do that immediately. Uh, they don't have a claim there, but you know that's just how it is. M possibly we should try to get. And the Golden Horde to ally us first. I don't know if that is something that can can be done though. So let's do this immediately instead. Theodoro won't be an issue. So um, yeah, let's just do it. Hopefully, Georgia do their part in this war. Let's lower our forts immediately. We're locked. Well, we will, we will win anyway. Um, unnecessary battle there, but of course they had mountains here as well. By doing this this way as well, um, by that I mean feeding our vassals and then annexing them, we do tank our diplomatic points a bit, but that means we free up some administrative points to do more proactive stuff like uh, heightening our stability and stuff like that, which is kind of necessary in the constant revolt situation we find ourselves in. Possibly in the future when we do have a bit better situation, um, we might be able to uh, just annex more conquer more straight up instead of going through our vassals but we'll see uh, more or less we we will see uh, where we find ourselves in a little while uh, in the meanwhile um, Shirwan is slowly being eaten by us but yeah so far I want to say this mis this um, campaign has gone pretty pretty well uh, could have been a lot worse. We uh, we've stayed off, staved off an attack from the Timurids. They haven't attacked us, and the Ottomans, while they probably are considering attacking us, they haven't yet. And that I think is pretty great. The Ottomans now have forty-three thousand, and the Timurids have the same. We have twenty-nine with a possibility of gaining thirty-two. And while that might not seem like a lot, we still have. Well, we have uh, soon to be two vessels with uh, about 7,000 troops each. Ship durability. Again, I don't need uh, ship traits. And um, we also have this um, defensive terrain of the mountains. So we should be able to protect ourselves pretty well um, if we handle it somewhat smoothly. 
So hopefully we might actually do this. Um, as soon as we've um, expanded as, soon, as much as we can up here and also... Right, so let's keep that with the Golden Horde and see if we, they want to ally us. Are you kidding me? Okay, a tribal feud. Another bank loan. Um, stuff. Wild rabble, how dare they? We will lose the prestige, stability, and uh, tribal estate loyalty. The loyalty isn't that bad. The stability is freaking awful. But as I was saying, as soon as we expand as much as we can up here, which we already have, uh, because these are vassals of the Golden Horde, and we don't want to go into the Golden Horde since they are allied with Uzbek, uh, then we um, try to expand all we can down here instead. These guys are allied with Adal, Vasangali, uh, our vassals, and no one. So if we can take all this, I believe we might actually stand a chance to probably go into the Mamluks uh, as the next step, and then go with Timurids, and then go Ottomans. And by doing that it in that, that order, pretty much, we might be able to make the whole thing. We will see, hopefully. Sorry for my occasional rants like that, but you know, it's important to plan ahead. Hopefully we'll get this siege done soon and we are actually saving up some uh, manpower now. So, could be a lot worse, our situation. We need to place some troops up here in Turkey, uh, but we can do this after that, after this siege is done. And after this siege is done, it's just a waiting game to get Teodoro to accept that we pretty much won. Okay, so the siege is done, so let's move up into Turkey. Can we get over here? We can, okay, 13,000. Um, now the question is, do we want to make an enemy out of um, Crimea? No, no, not Crimea, Crimea is a vassal of the Ottomans. Do we want to make an enemy out of Genoa? Well, France, Austria and Lucca isn't gonna pose any threat. Could even actually take the Genovese provinces here. None of the enemy powers would manage to get down here anyway. Um, well, well, you know what? Let's. Um, we do have enough troops, so let's um, form up. This is just uh, grasslands, so that we will even gain a bonus for for attacking there. So let's go take this and. Um, we will at least gain some money from it, since they have pretty much just been sat, in, sat there all game and doing nothing. Done nothing. So yeah, tech-wise, we're still gonna wait on this in case we want. We need uh, the administrative administrative points for something. Let's move this army up to Turkey. They're needing more up there than down here. And we just won this battle, now we just have to siege this down. Which should be done fairly quickly. I like this uh, Genoese um, flag they have. Which, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty pretty. Let's also make sure that I give this to the right vassal, Georgia. Thanks. <laughs> that means we will be landlocked here, but that doesn't really bother me. It does also mean that... Um, Georgia probably will build a few more ships, which is actually quite good for us, but that, because then uh, we will inherit those ships when we annex Georgia. Oh, our um, conversion is done. I don't really remember where that conversion was. Uh, but you know. Okay, let's check here. Sharitsor is our next area. I suppose that's here. Um, Charizor. Where could that be? Here. Okay. So let's remember that uh, that's the new, the next province we are converting. So um, we can see the, the progress a bit. See, right here, we are actually gaining some, um, some area in our, for our religion. Okay, the war is over. Let's um, peace out with Theodora. Something like that. Cool. 
we'll get a lot of money. Which just... Just on the... Which just prevented us get, uh, having to take another loan there. So uh, that was a uh, hitch, a clutch um, piece deck there. Um, yeah, all right, there we go. Even more money. Not that I complain. Oh, fuck, I forgot to take them. Oh shit, that's a noob, noob, noob move. Well, I've been uh, playing for a few hours now, so it doesn't really surprise me that I'm a bit tired. Oh well, uh, at least we will have some money now. So let's repay all of our loans and we will still have quite a lot. Well, that was shitty. Um, well, I suppose we'll have to take them later on. Okay, so our next target is um, Karaman instead. Let's um, just gonna let the move pass here. See how our economy is looking. Okay, we're still um, in um, reparations mode. Anyway, uh, our 20 minutes up, and this is the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you like this series and would like to see more, please leave a like so that I know, and it also helps me quite a lot on YouTube. And anyway, um, hopefully you have a, had a nice time here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.